Good morning all, welcome back to So Granny So. Today we are going to do a block called Ralph Bounce. Now my printer for some reason won't uh, print out the whole thing no matter what I try, um, but a Ralph Bounce actually has uh, however many stripes, uh, whatever you're working with, but this particular one has three stripes. Uh, they're in squares, and you put the four squares turned together. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do ours because we want it to be a nine inch block. So we need four and a half by four and a half inch squares. We're going to aim for a five inch square and cut it down. And so to do this, we only, as you can see, it's a repeat of three colors on all four of them. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut out our strips at two inches wide, sewn together it will be one and a half and it should turn out to be about four and a half inch square then. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started by cutting all of our fabrics. I got three pretty fabrics here that match well with our other blocks. Uh, however this one's an Easter fabric but we're cutting it into a one and a half inch strip or actually two and then throwing it into one and a half. So you're not gonna catch very many full eggs on it because it will just be cut up and you'll see the colors. Uh, so a nice thing you can do with big gaudy prints that you don't like if you come into those. So we'll go ahead and get these cut down into one and a half inch strips. We do need a total of 20 inches. Uh, we will be sewing them into strip sets. So I'll get these cut. We'll meet you back here. I have all the strips cut out, but I did wanna show you um, Another piece of shirting fabric somebody slipped in when I ordered from someone. Uh, I don't know which ones are which. So I just took some Pellon fusing. So it's a P44F fusing. And I just put that on the back uh, because when you can see how thin that is uh, compared to quilting cotton, it's thicker. Um, that helps just giving it that strength and make it equal when you're sewing it. Uh, so I find that that really helps when you're doing... Uh, working with shirting fabric or any of that lightweight cotton uh, that seems to really help out with that so we have all of our strips now so we are just going to sew them in strip sets so we'll need one of each color for each set so we will set these ones aside and we are just going to I'm going to put the, the multicolor in the middle and you can trim those off right away if you want so they're the same length as the other ones. I am just going to leave them like that for now. So we're just going to flip it down on the other one. We'll line those up and we'll throw a quick pin in there. This block is so quick and simple but it's a one of the old-fashioned traditional blocks so I really like it uh, but like I said it's so simple if you're just starting out this one can be done by any level of, of quilter so once we get that pinned into place we'll just go to the sewing machine take a quarter inch seam press that open and come back and attach the pink to the other side of the multicolored um, and then we'll set that aside and do the same with that one so I'll get this all sewn together and I will meet you back here I have the first one sewn on, on this one here and this one here, and I have them ironed flat. So when I was attaching this one, I thought, oh, well, I better show you this part. So when you sew these strips, like this one, I started at this end and sewed down to this end. And at this one, I did the start at that end and sewed down to that end. When you do the next strip, you want to go from the opposite end. And the reason for that is, is if we line this line right here up with the straight line, you can see how that one of buckles and it just happens when you're sewing strips. So if you sew from the opposite end on each seam, um, it helps to balance that out a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get these pink ones attached onto there, get them ironed open, and then I'll meet you back here. I have our strips all ironed or sewn and ironed flat now. So we're going to go ahead and line up this end with a line so we can work from a straight line. Okay, so we'll use this 19 inch mark here and we're just going to line that up and trim that down. So we got a nice straight edge on that. We are going to just cut off our block or our width is a total of about four and seven eighths. So we're going to go ahead and trim our blocks off at four and seven eighths to make sure they're good and square. Oh, I'm gonna have to go this way. Make sure we get that exactly right. 
We're going to go ahead and trim that off. And we need a total of four of these. So we got one. Once you find that mark where you're trimming at, then you just line up the same, both going this way and going this way. So if you want a bigger block, all you have to do is make bigger strips. When it's a two and a half inch strip and get a two inch strip in here. We did ours with a two inch strip for an inch and a half. So, and you could put add more strips onto it. So you got, you know, five in each strip set instead of just three. So if you did two by five, that would give you a two and a half inch strips with two by five, that would give you a 10 inch block. Okay, we'll set these bigger pieces aside. They can be used for something else. What we're gonna do for our rail fence, I'm gonna put that that way. That that way. That way. And that way. Okay, so when you go to attach them, you're just gonna flip that over, pin that into place. And the same with this one. So now you'll just sew it together like a simple four patch. So we're going to go to the machine, take a quarter inch seam on both of those squares. We'll iron those open and then we'll connect the two together. So we have our seams in here and they are ironed flat. So we're just going to go ahead and make sure we got our uh, X there or kind of crooked X and we'll go ahead and line those seams up and we'll nest those together. We do want to make sure the top of our fabric is lined up. We'll go ahead throw a quick pin in there and then we'll line up those up. So we'll just line that one up there because we know that one's straight and I should have taken the time to trim the other one down but I did not. So we'll go ahead and line that up. Put a pin in that. We'll bring that to the sewing machine, put a quarter inch seam in there, iron that open, and I'll bring you back and I'll show you how to trim that up. So we have our square done here. So we're going to go ahead and square that up. So we're just going to take, we'll take those two sides there and line that up with the shortest one on that side and the shortest one on that side. So the blue stripe on each one is shorter for the, some reason. So now on this one, we want to measure this line here and see how far out we go. And it is one, two, three, four and a half. Turn that down. So it did end up as a nine inch box. So we're good to go there. So that's what it looks like when you're all done. I think it's a real nice block. Uh, it is traditional. So they've been making these for generations after generations. So if you're looking for a quick, easy block and you have some strips, uh, you know, if you get a jelly roll or something, this is a really cute block to do because it doesn't take much, you know, of each kind of fabric per block. So you could really make a jelly roll go far. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And as always, guys, if you found this video useful, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we'd love to have you here at So Granny So. Thanks all. Have a good day. Bye.